We're on our way to the voting booth. Hallelujah. This is our privilege as an American. Amen. Everyone should vote. God bless America. Amen. Everyone should go to vote today. That's your privilege as an American, as a free person in America. You should vote today. God bless America. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today is a voting day for our country. Hallelujah. God made this country. He made this country by many people dying on the battlefield for this country. This little 200 plus country. We're happy and grateful in the Lord. We're going to go vote. Amen. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love you, Joy. I love you, Charlie. God bless you. God bless you. God bless America. Amen. And there's our flag. Hallelujah. Get that sun in there, buddy. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father, for the privilege of going to vote again. This is November 8, 2016. You have blessed this nation. You're going to turn this nation around. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to give you all the praise and the glory every day. We're great. We always do, Lord. You know that. But we're happy and grateful in you. We are happy in the service of the King. We are happy. You know, I bet there's people who don't even know these red stripes represent the blood that was shed on the battlefield. And the white stripes, that's for the purity of our Holy Father God, nation under God. The blue represents the battlefield, and the stars represents the union, the, the states of our union. We thank you, Father God. Blessed be thy holy name. And if I don't get to the car and go vote, joy is going to be all over me. So I'm gone. There it goes. There it goes. Look at the flag. It's happy. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming hallelujah. hallelujah and here's God's house here's our flag mm -hmm. God's house there's our sign we're going to go vote in the name of Jesus here we go hallelujah look at that cross right there amen going to go vote get out and vote today we made it. We made it to the polling place. Hallelujah. Look at that joy. The cross above the flag. That's the way it's supposed to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Look at the sun shining on the cross and shining on the flag. Hallelujah. We made it to the polling place. Look at all these cars. Look at all these people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to go vote. Hallelujah. Yes, we are. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. You want to go vote? Yep. Now it's not straight. Get it straight. Let's see. Going to go vote. Hallelujah. Going to go vote. Hallelujah. Going to go vote. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, we did it. We voted. Hallelujah. See your sign right there? It says, I voted. I Mine's, voted. <laughs> Mine's in my pocket. We're grateful and thankful to the Lord Jesus. We saw a lot of people we know. And blessed be the holy name of Jesus. Look at this little flag right there, Joy. And there's our big flag with the cross on top. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we just voted, like we said. And we would like to point out here, did you see anything unusual today? I'm talking about the people, the turnout. That's what I'm talking about. I found it interesting. As we came in here, I saw no 
younger generation, Gen X or whatever you call it. Maybe they're in school. They're probably working. Maybe they're working. I did see middle-aged people, but who is the majority of the people here? This amazed me. Retired. The senior citizens. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They're getting up out of bed and going in and vote. Mm -hmm. These younger kids are, yeah, maybe they're working. They'll come after, you know, evening time. Sure. That's true. But that just surprised me. It seemed like last time, four years ago, it was an, a nice mix of people. But this time, it seemed like more seniors voted than I've ever seen in my life. And I've voted ever since I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Anything else you observe? No. Happiness. There's a lot of happiness mm -hmm. in that room. Yeah. Uh, one gentleman didn't seem happy. Somebody blocked in his parking place or something. <laughs> <laughs> We're human. We still sin. We still fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous. No, not one. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. Amen. Amen. But thank you, Lord, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What that got to do with election? Our nation is receiving a cleansing today. Amen? I believe that. Amen? Amen. Father, we thank you for the time of voting. We thank you that won the way. I thank you for as we came here, the flag was blowing in the wind and the cross above the flag. And right there was the sun shining down on us. I just felt that was so awesome, Lord. Thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord brought you to Indian Lake for other reasons than me. You appreciate nature so much. It gives you a chance to sit out here and watch the water and the trees. Yeah, I like to do that. Is that right? <laughs> Just keep on talking. I'll get it on tape one way or another. She's praising the Lord about the Lord putting us together. Listen to that. Yeah. All because I was over there talking to that squirrel. And he came to me. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. You got to know how to. There's no one. You got to know how to talk to him. He's pretty far away, but see if I can get it. There he is, that red tail. He's way far away. How did he respond to that noise? Is that what you did when you hunted? What did you say? <laughs> Why did they respond? To that signal that you were doing. That well, that's how they talk. You, you got to talk. I'm a multitasker. I can talk in, in, in squirrel language. <coughs> you listen to them and they do that. That sounds like ducks. No, a squirrel has a... Actually, it's when he's chewing on nuts. Oh. Mm. You, can't, you can't bite nuts, it's honey. Where, it's where they're biting on them. You know, they're trying to break them. Uh -huh. But they respond to that. It's like their teeth scratching on that thing. Oh. Now ducks are different. Ducks are. I used to be able to do it, but I ain't got no teeth. I can't do it now. <laughs> Isn't this funny? Grandma and Grandpa are sitting here making all these stupid noises. We got anything else to do with our life? Let's right talk now. in tongues. Polybu Fonse. You'll be she. You're nuts. Ichi ni sanchi go loko hi chachikuju. Chuku bakasa chiti mana. Hold up. I need sky to threat to fly hard. Say the bako pasada ya sana kanana. Ahu, lude chida. Let us believe it's a kaka kiwiku. Praise the Lord. Piti, adi adi. Suk stay wata? Kiwiku taka. You want a translation? Yeah. There's an old Indian legend. I was told long ago. It's about a special valley and a white buffalo. The legend says you'll find him if your heart is brave and true and you treat all men as brothers no matter what you do. Uh -huh. Now we had a little incident this morning. We were going to take somebody to vote. Went to the door and they opened the door and said, I decided I ain't going to vote today. I said not a word. I turned and walked away. That's how people can hurt you. And I thought, what a, what a disrespect for the people that died for this country. They're, they're, 
went to war to fight for our freedom. And they're dead in the grave. They're in heaven. I believe that. But to say, I'm not going to vote today. I remember when I was down in the south and these church people, ministers included, we're not supposed to get involved in politics. Really? What does God's word say? Preach the word. And you don't do it by not voting. That is a sin in my mind. But nonetheless, we voted. Here he comes. Here he is. He's behind that big tree. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, he's so far away, he can't hear me. I bet you can. They have pretty keen hearing. Well, he's looking for them nuts. Yeah. He's trying to put things away for winter now. Are we done? We better go put things away for winter. Oh, yeah. I got the umbrellas put up. Yeah. I got the leaves mulched up. Yeah. Oh, there's another one over there. See him? Yeah. He's in the leaves, but he'll pop his head out. There he goes. Right over there. Mm -hmm. He's down there nibbling on something. Mm -hmm. And there's the other one over there by them signs. Hey, you can't go swimming now. The sign says no, no swimming. Look at the little tiny ducks. Yeah. This is kind of late for them to have, have family. These are their above born in the spring. And that's the way it is, folks. Grandma and Grandpa, Joy and Charles, yeah. we just love coming out and seeing God's beauty, what He's created. We were talking about that. Mm -hmm. What you see now, the brown, the green's almost gone off the trees. Colors. The colors are fading away. Isn't that awesome? God gives us his plan every year. Death. Burial. The snow covers it. And resurrection. The springtime comes and the flowers bloom forth. The fruits and the veggies bloom. And he gives us a death, burial, resurrection every year to show us. Look at my son, death, burial, resurrection. Look at my son, Jesus, death, burial, and resurrection. He tells us how to get to heaven in nature. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're watching this video. You better pay attention because time is getting short. Here he's getting closer. Look at him over there. He's having more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a little story. I had a dump truck one time and I was coming down the street right on the street where I live. And you know how people rake leaves out to the curb and the City comes along with a big vacuum and sucks them up. Mm -hmm. These leaves are piled out there, and I got, you know, I'm a kid, I like to drive. And I had this big old 80,000 pound dump truck, and uh, 80,000 when it was full, it wasn't full, it was probably 54,000 pounds when it was empty. And uh, I was driving down through there, and I wanted to go and just pull a little bit to the right and go plowing through them leaves because I could just see them busting up in the air, big old pile of leaves. And just as I got that thought, Two little kids popped their heads up out of those leaves. They were sitting in there. Oh, I could have killed them both. Oh my. Scared me to death. I never did that anymore. Oh Look my. at him. He's in that on that tree now. Oh, Charlie. See the two trees That's out there? Terrible feeling. Oh, but you just fainted, yeah. didn't you? Oh, the devil tried to get me to do that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it, but I never even thought about that. Now I come down on the ground. Mm -hmm. He's coming around the corner there. He'll be coming around the tree when he comes. He'll be coming around the tree when he comes. There's a red-tailed squirrel down on the ground. He's coming around the tree when he comes. Uh, that makes me a liar. Look at him. He's hiding back there. He's yeah. found something to occupy his time. Well, I think we need to occupy our time. we got to get this video up online. We're going to do a voting video today. We're going to go put it up online just to say that we did vote. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You done? I'm done. I'm done. God bless you all. See you next time. Hallelujah. Did you vote? Yes. Hallelujah. So did we. We got it on tape.